Hundreds of business leaders have gathered here in New York City at Intel's Shift 2017 conference to discuss the future of artificial intelligence and business transformation. I'm Brian Westbrook. This is Shift, presented by Intel and GeekWire. What's the biggest challenge in the AI machine learning space today? It's new. It's, it's emerging. It's not completely understood. Customers can find ways to release new business opportunities for them, and it very clearly releases new business opportunities for Dell and Intel. The big thing is that you actually have the opportunity with AI to know your customer. And right now, when companies talk about their customer, it's in pretty broad strokes. The use of artificial intelligence allows you not even to need to generate unique or new data, just use what you have. And so when you can start tying together purchase patterns, traffic patterns, weather patterns, all sorts of different types of data that's already existing and find the correlations, you can fundamentally segment a lot better. And I think that ultimately leads for consumers to better experiences. What's your favorite example of this technology being used? If you have a very early onset of diabetes, there's evidence in your retina of this onset. So by imaging the eye and running a neural network on the eye, you can detect this onset and you can do it much earlier than through other diagnostic techniques. So using this technology, we're actually making meaningful material advances in medicine. We're using AI for image recognition. We're running episodes of our popular TV shows and movies through the AI engine that Intel and Nirvana have provided, looking for just the right image to trigger a purchase impulse so that we can sell more episodes. What else is Warner Brothers as a company doing in the AI space? We have a lot of ideas, for example, creating AI personas so that your cell phone can speak to you as Harry Potter or Hermione Granger or Bugs Bunny. Uh, we're looking at supply chain initiatives and then other, other elements of uh, storytelling that could be augmented or enhanced by AI. So they're going in and saying, okay, what can I do to use data better? So they started to use AI and machine learning to understand what users were buying, how long they were spending time in their store, traffic patterns. They were doing all kinds of things to optimize sales in their store, but then what they found is that also helped them build a better online business, simply by using data better. Autonomous cars, robotic intelligence, and data analytic driven decision making, all topics here at Intel's Shift 2017. After a day of discussion of emerging technologies in the artificial intelligence space, we've made our way to the after party here at New York's Highline Hotel. There's a demo about autonomous driving, but I'm excited to go take a look at AI in the arts. Brian Westbrook here at Shift 2017, Intel's event about transforming business, discussing AI and how it's being used to solve problems. And one of the biggest problems it is being used to solve is in the farming space. Craig Scholz is driving that train, that tractor, if you will. Tell us about your company and how you're solving this problem, the problem of farming with AI. We don't have an excess of labor. We have a shortage of qualified labor to do the jobs that farmers need to do when the time is right. So we have our first pieces of equipment out in the field right now and we are working on getting the autonomous functionality to the point where Bruce could literally have a tractor following him in the field as he's harvesting soybeans, turning the soil for next year. Technology is having a massive impact in agriculture, even today, but we're just getting started. And the people in this room can help accelerate that and broaden the impact. What are some of the key takeaways that you got out of this event and what are you gonna take back to your team? Well, I think what was good today is with the customers sharing their own experiences about going through the decision-making processes of when and how they're going to evaluate new technologies, really learned about what their needs are, what the customers were looking for, so we can address their issues. And a lot of that was around uh, ease of deployment, ease of integration, performance, you know, really how to deploy uh, uh, an integrated solutions to take advantage of the technology really quickly. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Shift, presented by Intel and GeekWire.